Uh, Deckard's probably a paranoid uh, by doing his job, the job he does. So if you've got a guy who actually is constantly hunting down people who look, for the most part, human, and have all the attributes of human reaction and interreaction, um, then you might wonder at some point when you're working for the department or the company, um, am I on the files as well? So that's what I mean by I always see him in the sense of being a paranoid in that sense of the word. And out of that, that makes him very Marlowe-esque, Philip Marlowe. Right, that qualifies him to be too much drinking, a depressive, a um, tough man, an even violent man, um, a man without relationships, um, and uh, a man who's very much on his own. So he's not a particularly attractive guy to you know follow around the movie, but that's what I had in my head, and nobody asked me, and so that's what I did. And so I was taking over a guy who was essentially Luke Skywalker and or Indiana Jones, because I literally cast him the first time I met him. He came from the set, because it was late at night in London, he still had his Indiana Jones gear on. And we had our first meeting there. And I found, of course, Harrison to be very wry, amusing, and, and actually great fun. He was now going to play this rather dark, Bogart character, and I think that's probably what it went against us initially, because by the time the film came out, Harrison was n now established as going to be destined to be a big star, and mainly because of Indiana Jones, I think. Um, and uh, people were confused by that and didn't expect heroes to behave like this. So we, we had a tricky opening. <laughs> uh, later on, it's evolved. It's taken 25 years to evolve, but it evolved.